Greetings, I'm Dr. Aaliyah Brown, cosmetic and general dermatologist at Georgia Dermatology Partners. I'm going to talk about acne conditions affecting the 20s. So this is a very, very common concern for patients. A lot of times they're not sure on how to take care of their skin. They don't know if it's something that they've done or what is different about their skin. So there are some hormonal changes that will occur that take someone out of maybe teenage acne and leads them into a hormonal adult acne. Two types of acne conditions come to mind when I think about uh, presentations for young adults. Some people suffer from hormonal acne. This is typically something that women will complain about or be concerned about. The reason why this can be so discouraging is because oftentimes these bumps are larger, they're more inflammatory, they're more likely to lead to texture change or even redness and in some skin complexions hyperpigmentation. So this is definitely a condition that we can treat. Um, a lot of times it has nothing to do with what someone is doing to their skin. Oftentimes it is the way that their body's oil glands are responding to the different hormonal fluctuations that occur throughout the month. Now, in terms of another type of adult acne, I think about acne rosacea. So oftentimes this presents with acne, but has a redness component. There are actually five different types of rosacea, but knowing that you have acne rosacea is very important. The reason is because in treating your acne, you don't want to do anything that's gonna to be too irritating to your skin or too drying to your skin that may actually end up exacerbating the redness. So you have to be on sort of a tight rope and fine line between treating the acne but also not irritating the complexion. There are also triggers involved with rosacea. So a lot of times stress can be a trigger for a flare, changes in temperature, spicy food, a glass of wine. I mean, who doesn't love a glass of wine? But sometimes it's just important to know what your triggers are so you can understand why you may be experiencing a flare up or an outbreak. Other times, you know, rosacea can be very, very um, discouraging for people because People tell me, patients say, I'm tired of people coming up to me saying, what's wrong? Are you okay? Or you look mad because they may be overly flushed. The flushing component of rosacea is something we treat every day. It's probably one of the main indications that we do laser therapy here. And this can be corrected without any downtime and it's extremely safe and affordable to do. In terms of the hormonal acne, this can be treated a variety of ways too. It's just more so about assessing what someone's skin type is, knowing what their skin is able to tolerate, and coming up with an individualized tailored treatment for that set patient. I always tell patients, everything does not work for everybody. Everybody cannot use every type of makeup. We have to define what is your skin type and what works for you. And then we can discern what you will probably be probably respond to. So thanks for listening in. I appreciate the questions coming and feel free to stop by for a consultation or make an appointment for a skincare assessment. Thanks again.